wants my collaboration with Erin Condren and their teacher planner to be sold at Target. Yay! So for you teachers who um, need a more affordable planner, you can't really afford to customize your planner on the EC website, Erin Condren is offering a more affordable teacher planner. Um, thank you to everybody on the Erin Condren team for sending me these two planners to review. Um, this was not purchased with my own money. I did receive these items for review, but all opinions will be of my own. So the first three things that I was sent is I was sent these three items right here. And the first item is the sticky notes. So these actually have a coil clip on the side to where you can actually clip these in your teacher planner. And they have these cute little teacher themed stickers with a little tab on the side. So these items have small sticky notes with apples and they're different colors. Um, you can do these to mark important dates. You can use this long one as it says to mark to do, or if you have an important thing to do today, these will be great for you. So let's see, it has 200 sticky notes, 10 pads and 20 repositionable adhesive notes. So these are great, especially it looks like these fit on the main monthly calendar. So that's great. Um, and so that is the first item I received and there is not a price on it. So I will insert, once I get more information, I will insert items on the bottom of the screen with the prices. The second thing that we have here is a sticker book. So it has 782 stickers in here. And these are the new classroom sticker books, designer sticker books use. It says inspire, teach, guide, mentor, and encourage. have your kind of like your intro page your name page this book belongs to you can put your name the school year and the school that you teach at you have an all about me page and their events and volunteer page so this is very similar to the planner that they have out on their website um, just a different design so you have your communication log year plan i know some teachers would love this because it doesn't have the months in there it's just blank um, and you can really you know customize it if you're a year-round teacher or maybe you start school in september rather than august or you start school in january um, you can really cater it to your needs you have your grid paper here which some people use for sketching out ideas for the classroom layout or um putting their um, seating arrangements here for each class that they have. So, I mean, it's it's pretty much open, you know? It says create seating charts, organize groups, track learning assessments, and log other important information here. So it's pretty much just open to anything that you want to do. You wanna use this as a notes page, use it as extras note page. So here you have a general note page, and then you go into the color of whatever month you start in. As I mentioned, this was undated, so the tabs don't even have the months on there. So you have a monthly note overview page. You can put your own dates to remember. Maybe you wanna track your students' birthdays or your colleagues' birthdays. So we open it up to here and we have undated calendar, monthly calendar. And I do like how vibrant this looks, guys. Um, and like I said, in all honesty, this is not my favorite design, but I do like how vibrant it is. So you have your monthly page here, and then you go into your weekly layout. Now, I've noticed something that's different. Let me go grab my other planner for you all. And the teacher planner from the Erin Condren website. You can see, of course, that the one at Target is undated because it's customizable for a teacher's needs. But you can see here that their, what is this called, a little sidebar is now located on this side. And then I think you've lost the ability to label the top ones. So I think this is good 
and a little bit confusing because now what you can do is you can date the top and put the week right here, which people have been asking for for a very long time. So I think that this is a more flexible option. I don't know why they did it, didn't do it to this one. Um, however, I like this, I'm liking it. So you can actually date the top if you want to. Now, the confusing thing is, I guess if you taught a different subject or teach different subjects, you would list the subjects here, but then you would need to do like a line or some type of washi here. So that's something to consider. Um, but guys, I am shocked at the quality of this planner. This paper seems like the same. Oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to test, the paper. Feels like the same paper. Yeah, feels like the same paper. So you go through, let's see how many weeks you get. I'm, I'm assuming four or five because, so you get one, two, three, four weeks, five weeks, four weeks. Let me count that again. One, two, three, four. So you get four weeks of planning pages. You get a notes page after the month, and then you go to your new monthly dashboard type page in a different color, new month. Then you get four weeks of planning. One, two, three, four. Okay, guys, if I wasn't lazy with dating stuff, I definitely would do this because I'm the type of person where I need to see the date here and look down this way. I'm a vertical planner. I can't see things horizontally. So this is a great option. This offers more customization, honestly, I think, than the website because it offers the ability to switch what layout you like. Um, so you go through all of your months, all of the tabs, like I said, are undated. Now you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna put there? Well, you have the option, you can write them in Sharpie, or they do offer something for you in the back. But first, let's get to, so that's the last month. I believe you get a monthly colored checklist page, or monthly colored notes page, and then you get one, two, three, four, five, six pages of notes in the back. Then you get your checklist page. So you get one, I like to count this as one whole checklist because you really can't use this without using that, if that makes sense. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, six pages of checklist. And I think you get these six pages of checklists in the regular planner to that sold online. Yeah, I believe so. Let me count. So, and I don't think mines have added checklists in there. If they do, forgive me. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I have five. So I guess you get one more page of checklists here. So, um, so it says, teaching is more than imparting knowledge, it's inspiring change. Hmm, very, very relevant to this time. Very relevant. Um, so that's a great quote. Then you get into your typical stickers. Now I would love to compare the stickers that you get. Um, don't mind mine because I've already started using some of my, oh, it's the same quote, guys. So, yeah. All right, so you get the same type of stickers that are in the one sold online. Let's go on to the next page. Oh, same stickers. So I think, you know, um, for the price point, you're really getting a good deal because you're pretty much getting the same thing and it's a little bit more customizable. Same type of stickers. Same type of stickers. Same type of stickers that you get back here are different from the ones online because this is an undated planner. At first when I opened this, I'm like, how are people going to date this? Very smart, Erin Condren. They have went ahead and provided 
uh, stickers in the back that are already labeled for us. So if you want to, say for example, this was December, right? You don't have to choose the same color, maybe, or maybe for green, yeah. You wanted to choose the red stickers because green and red Christmas or whatever, whatever you celebrate, you know? So you could really do that or you can match them up to the month that they, they have for you. It is time consuming, but I think the format that they have it in really works. And I think honestly, you know, this is, I think this is a great deal. Um, so here you get your page flag. So if you wanted to label your months instead of marking them in on the monthly view, you can. I don't know how, I'm, I'm not a really big fan of gold coil. I mean, yeah, gold foil. So um, you could write them in if you wanted to. And then also if you wanted um, your tabs, they offer the tabs here for you. So essentially you'll have gold tabs, which I mean, if you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't. Um, and then it does not come with a folder in the back like this one does. So, and it does not come with, um, what are these called, sheet protectors. It also doesn't come with important holidays or dates, which I think is good because, I mean, someone who's in another state may not celebrate a certain holiday. Um, so, I mean, you can just easily write it in your planner. Um, so there are some trade-offs to this planner. However, I really like the ability to customize on this thing. I really love the fact that they left it up to the teacher to customize on this planner. So, all the information about when these come out, when, uh, what price point everything is will be on this page. So thank you once again to Erin Condren and the team for sending these for my review. Um, let me make sure these are not different. Oh yeah, these are not different. They're the same. Okay, and then I believe they offer this cover as an option too if you didn't want the triangle overlay as an option, which you could easily, if you're the type of person to do vinyl, you could like put your name up there. Um, you could put, easily put your name in vinyl and white here or a different color here. So very customizable. I like what they've done. Love everything in the planner. Not my favorite design. However, um, I think the customization is a good trade-off. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, comment below. Remember to stay positive. Drink your